Woodstock and Bingle it seemed there might be some fighters inbound, so we'll try and uh, scramble up the fire. There's just over three dozen left in flying condition throughout the world, which is quite amazing when you think about that. The Mark 8 Spitfire that we have in the Tomorrow Aviation Museum here, that was the very last Spitfire that the RAAF took delivery of during World War II. It turned up a little too late in its packing boxes from England and never actually saw any service. However, the Mark 16 Spitfire that we have, which Stephen Deeth is taxing out today, did see service in the European theatre. The Packard build Rolls Royce Merlin. Absolutely beautiful aircraft, Lars. The shape of that elliptical wing that's coming out of the top of that wing over and the sound of that Merlin engine. It's certainly unique and it's the only place in Australia that you'll be able to hear that sound, Matt. That's right, and um, two together quite often too. This particular aircraft was restored in England. Um, I'm a little sketchy on the specific details, but... So Tim imported this aircraft to New Zealand and operated there successfully for many, many years. Operated brake in it, not the traditional tow brakes that you have in the boomerang there that operate off the rudder pedals. You actually control the brakes by the use of a lever, but it looked like a bike brake on a car which is on the control column. It was a design principle used in many British aircraft. In an aircraft on landing, if that does occur, it, you do run the risk of it heading in a direction that you didn't fully mean at the time. Which is normally off the runway, heading towards a fence or some other aircraft or a ditch. We've all experienced it at different times there, Matt, through uh, our time flying these aircraft. You always have to be wary for it, but that's probably, that's probably what makes them very enjoyable as well. It usually has the effect of turning eyes into dinner plates. As with a lot of things in aviation, you can have several hours of water and a few moments of shield there. Even deep in the Supermarine Mark 16 Spitfire. <laughs>